Hello, a friend of mine asked me to install Linux Ubuntu on his computer and in order for me to do this I'm going to have to download and install ImageBurn and download Linux Ubuntu. This video is going to show you where to find ImageBurn, how to download and install it, and how to burn your ISO image to disk. You can use any ISO image that you'd like, it doesn't have to be Ubuntu. And I also want to mention that ImageBurn supports a lot of different formats so you can also burn music and movies with it. So I'm going to open my web browser and I'm going to type in CNET, C-N-E-T. Click enter. When you see the CNET homepage link, right down below it you see downloads. You can click on downloads and it take you right to the downloads page. Or if you would happen to click on the CNET link, when you get to the homepage, just click on downloads right here. And then in the search box, type in image burn, I-M-G-B-U-R-N. Click enter. When the results for image burn page open, here, here's image burn. You could click on the green download now button and image burn will uh, download immediately. Or you can click on the product's name and you'll get a little description of what the product's all about. Plus you'll get uh, user ratings and you can see the user reviews for the product. I'm going to click on the green download now button. If you're in Google Chrome, click on the keep button down here. If you're in Internet Explorer, click on the yellow drop down underneath the toolbar and then choose to download. As you can see, Image Burn is finished downloading here, so I'm going to click on it. And if you're in Internet Explorer, you just click run when the box opens and asks you to save or run. When the Welcome to the Image Burn Setup Wizard appears, I'm going to click Next. I'm going to accept the license and terms. And then I'm going to click Next all the way through now. Once it's finished installing, the Image Burn web page will open. I'm just going to close that. I'm going to minimize the CNET page for right now. When you finish downloading Image Burn, it gives you the option to run it. I'm going to leave that checked and I'm going to click Finish. And there's Image Burn ready to go. Ubuntu is finished downloading and I have it on my desktop here. Now I'm going to go into Image Burn and I'm going to click on Write Image File to Disk. I'm going to go to this little yellow folder here and I'm going to browse for my ISO. Here it is right here. And now as you can see under Source, here's the ISO image. And I'm going to come down to this button right here and I'm going to click on it. And Image Burn begins to burn. Up here you have a few options. You can either eject the tray when it's finished burning, close the program. You can verify the disk after it's burning to check the integrity of it. You can shut down the computer and you can delete the image after it's finished burning. I'm going to click on eject tray and I'm going to leave verify checked. Sometime through the installation your CD tray will open and close. Just let it be. Let image burn do its thing. When Image Burn has finished burning, it'll make a tone and it'll pop up a window telling you it's finished. When it makes that tone, it means that the disk was created successfully. And you can now pull the disk out of the tray and use it. So that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you everybody for watching the video. Have a great day.